Hey y'all, thanks so much for stopping back in on the basics of uh, digital multimeter series we're shooting here. And uh, I just wanted to uh, thank Ideal uh, Industries again and my good buddy Ron Kipper right here on YouTube for allowing us to utilize this PDF and uh, maybe help enlighten some of the new people coming up in the trade. So uh, let's get after it guys. Hey y'all, thanks so much for taking the time to come over here and visit with us again on our, our little series we're shooting here, the basics of digital multimeters. And this uh, part four is going to be digital multimeters at a glance. All right, guys, let's get started. DMM at a glance. The port panel is where you plug in your test leads. The diagram below explains where the test leads go for specific tests. Multimeter safety. When making a meter selection, look for a tester that is independently certified to some safety standard, UL, IEC, CSA. Pay very close attention to how and where you are using the equipment. Never use equipment that is outside of its manufacturer's specified measurement range or outside of its category rating. Guys, this is crucial. Cat5, primary supply. Overhead or underground utility service. CAT 3, distribution level mains, fixed installation. CAT 2, local level mains, appliances, portable equipment. CAT 1, signal level, special equipment or parts of equipment, telecommunications, and electronics. Techno, multimeter safety. The major issue addressed by the UL 601010 standard was to look at fault potential to available energy and define limited by category to each. The most common fault was high voltage transients on high energy circuits. If a transient were to cause a fault within an instrument with high energy present, it could result in a cascading failure of meter, equipment, and possible personal injury. The easiest way to understand the different category ratings of the IEC standard is to think of the potential short circuit energy. The higher available short circuit energy, the higher the category. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Very, very crucial. The dial. Setting the function. The dial on the digital multimeter allows you to choose the function you're interested in measuring. Whether you intend to measure one of the three elements of Ohm's law, or a more advanced function like frequency or capacitance, you must first set the dial to the appropriate function. Setting the range. The dial also plays another essential role in measuring electricity that of determining the range of measurement. The range you select on the dial determines the placement of the decimal point as it appears on the LCD. In turn, the position of the decimal point determines how refined or precise your reading is. This is called resolution. Okay guys, let's uh, check out our symbols, measurement functions, and descriptions. And right here we have nine of them. Um, some meters may have more, some meters might have less. And um, I'm hoping you'll please forgive me for my terminology on the symbol part of things. I'll try to get through it as best as I can here, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and get started here. V with the squiggly line represents AC voltage, measures amount of AC electrical pressure. Number two, V with the bar in the three dashes represents DC voltage, measures amount of DC electrical pressure. Number three, MV, represents millivolts, 0 0.00V or 1 divided by 1000V. Number four, capital A, represents amperes or amps, measures amount of electron flow. Number five, MA, represents milliamperes, 0 0.001 or 1 divided by 1000 amps. Number six, the horseshoe or the omega symbol represents ohms, measurement of resistance to the flow of electron. Number seven, diode. I'm not even gonna attempt that symbol. Uh, device used to control direction of electron flow. Number eight, audible continuity. 
Audible indication of continuity for low resistance. Number nine, capacitance. Device used to store electrical potential. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up part four. I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. I'm hoping you're going to uh, go check out Ideal Industries, and uh, I'm really hoping you're going to check out my buddy Ron Kipper. He's at uh, Ron Kipper Datacom, and I'll leave a link below. And uh, I reckon we'll uh, hit on to part five. All right, guys. <laughs>